you just gonna touch me when you know the best and my best. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's my Kenyan path, and we have another Mopacha series. Hey, hey. So I'm back with my sister Mishi, and today we're doing something special that's actually been requested a lot from you guys. You want to hear some tips on how to take care of chemically treated hair. Of course, um, I could give you tips from how I took care of my hair, but I feel like it's better for someone who still has chemically treated hair to share her personal experience her regimen all of that jazz so you'll hear straight from mishi how she keeps her chemically treated hair healthy so are you ready yeah i've had relaxed hair all my life since i was like seven seven so or eight or since yeah six seven um it's been relaxed purely all through till last year when i decided to become texturized the difference between relaxed and texturized is really just how long the chemical stays on your hair so it like makes your hair less processed yeah, it's just less processed yeah. for some people um they still have some curl pattern like just to soften it two circles so yeah. that's really what texturizing is yeah so now i'm texturized and i've been texturized for the last i think yeah yeah now yeah in a few actually yeah 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 now yeah yeah so, so that's basically that's, that's your life, life. <laughs> that's, that's my life i don't texturize it that often Def definitely less often than i relax i used to relax my hair i think i texturize twice or thrice a year in fact, most of depending on how often I protective style, then if I protective style often, then it's twice a year. But if I choose to leave my hair open most of the year, then it's thrice a year. Do you do it yourself or do you go to a salon? <laughs> I go to a salon. I go to Urban Studio at Prestige Plaza on first floor. And if you follow my stories, um, I think on Snapchat I shared that. James, who does her hair, has been doing my hair since I was relaxed, which yes. is for a long time. Yeah. He's a really good hairdresser. They have really good hairdressers yeah. there. So if you're looking for a good salon, go to James at Urban Studio, first floor, and tell him I sent you there. Maybe he'll give you and a also, discount. And um, also, when you are doing your big chop, Mar Oh Marvin. yeah, I actually did my big <laughs> chop there. And so, Marvin did it. And Marvin did it. Yeah. Marvin is also another amazing hairdresser there. They're just all really nice people, so you'll find whatever you need. Whoever, whatever you need for whatever specialization. Cut, color. My yeah. color was done there. Weaves, weave installation, the cornrows I do. This is not sponsored by the <laughs> yeah. We've just been with him since I think class seven. Yeah. Eight. Form one. Class, sorry, class, class eight. Class eight. Yeah. yeah. So he's taken care of our hair for a long time. Anyway. I use the Mizani, the Mizani texturizer because some people use, um, usually use like a dark and lovely or the normal relaxer to use and then just keep it on their heads for less time. Which, if you, if as she said, which if you want to, like if you're relax, if you're natural and you texturize your hair and you want to remain with your curls, it's counterproductive to use dark and lovely. So I think that's where Mizani came to bridge create the an actual texturizing system. Yeah. It's a box that's a texture it's branded as a texturizer exactly. so mizani of course is really popular and respected <laughs> in the chemical world world because they they have really good products yeah. i think when i was relaxed i wasn't using mizani though no we were using um what's it called because even as a kid by there i used to use the adult, the strong, dark and lovely, the, the adults, strong, um, beginning, beginning, whatever it was. <laughs> whatever I it used was the strongest. adult pack because the kids one would not do anything. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, my hair was always something.
for my usual my regimen my regimen is i i treat my hair every two weeks which is twice a month that's one moisturizing treatment and one protein treatment the moisturizing treatment i use is mizani moisture fuse or hydra fuse depending on the needs of my hair i think you know what that means from <laughs> her yeah and the protein treatment i use is has been Keraka for the longest time but i transitioned last year into silicon mix the bamboo the bamboo yeah one. the sil- silicon mix bamboo and it's um it's an amazing protein treatment it has silicones and everything but you've watched her hair but not really bad product so it works for me and it's really really good um i protective style also depending on how my hair is but i do less manipulate i do less less i do shorter protective style so i do cornrows clip-ins or what else is there those are the main those are the main ones yeah. every now and then you do braids but yeah but you've moved, moved away, from, away from, from braids yeah yeah um i prefer cornrows and I don't really do clippings often but I'm going to transition into that as well but yeah I prefer those type of protective styles that I keep for a longer duration because I like my hair open most of the time Um well I can really say once or twice a year it's usually when I'm either running late to somewhere and I'm in the salon or when I when I just decide I want straight hair, but I don't use direct heat on my hair, I prefer to go under the dryer, which is what I do all year round. I just go under the dryer. And she does ruler sets. Ruler sets, yeah, exactly. I also used to do the same thing. Like we barely, I don't remember the last time I even flat ironed, flat ironed my hair. Blow dried. It's yeah, just, we never use, we don't blow dry our chemically treated hair. We prefer to do ruler sets. Yeah, that just. You know, chemically treated hair is already weaker, so adding things like heat and dye, which we're going to talk about briefly, yeah. they make your hair even weaker. So if you can avoid heat, or if you have to use direct heat, try to keep it at, at, a, the, minimum. at a minimum, because your hair needs to... But I also think for different <coughs> people, they like to style their hair differently. So for yeah. some people who have um, chemically treated hair, their style is to have it straight and blown out yeah but i think i've kind of gotten used to having the curls at the end so my hair is never actually fully straight so you can't tell if it's grown in fact that's most of the time that's how james makes sure that my hair is growing like there's some progress so we he'll, he'll make sure that we blow dry my hair he checks if it's growing split ends just to see how how it's doing the health of my hair and the bounce you know those kind of things yeah that was actually good to be my next question so how often do you trim your hair I trim my hair. It used to when I was re- when I used to be re- relaxed. I trim my hair every relaxer, which at that time was thrice of thrice or four times a year. But now that it's twice a year, I trim as and when needed. Okay. Yeah. I use the LCO method, and my liquid is her fenugreek spritz or her other spritz. She link the videos. Yeah, I link at them. the top. Yeah, so those are the two. The two that I She's alternate She's always using. like, I wake up and I can't find my spritz bottle <laughs> because this girl has stolen <laughs> it. So it's, yes, it works for people with chemically treated hair. Yeah, and my preferred oil is the Mizani Rose Water Conditioning Hairdress, which I really love. It's lightweight, so it doesn't cause a lot of build-up. So it helps me keep my hair moisturized, but not dirty in those two weeks before I go to the salon. Yeah. And which oil do you... Um, I like, I really like avocado oil at some point. I was really, I was really into it. And I think sweet almond, yeah, sweet almond oil. Um, I think you didn't mention, but you told me that you do pre-poo. Yes, before I go to the salon, the night before I go to the salon, especially after I've removed cornrows, I'd usually detangle my hair using this Mizani detangler. Or which is which is the replacement of my Apogee. I really like this Mizani detangler, and then I oil it and put it in my tutors and sleep. Then go to the salon the next day. So you pre poo then which shampoo do you use? And in the salon, Mizani. Or you see, Mizani. Mizani should have sponsored this video because. <laughs> 
So you you dyed your hair at some point. Yep. When I dyed my hair, you also dyed your hair. So and um, how did that go for you? Okay, I dyed my hair purple. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was the best thing ever. For the two weeks, it was purple. <laughs> <laughs> so you bleached it. First, you did to mention yeah. that your hair was bleached it was blonde. Bleached blonde, and then transitioned into blue, then to purple. So I had that. I had the colored hair for about. A month it was purple for a month before it completely faded and then i had blonde hair after that for about one and a half years yeah <laughs> so that long it was one I mean, one year one, one year. year and then i finally decided to start cutting it off my experience with the dye was that it looks very nice it looks amazing with your skin tone it just it looks face. nice for your look but my hair was needed to be moisturized every single day my hair was weak at some point it was just falling off my head it was shedding so much um so such split ends and not you know these split ends and then there's your whole head being split ends like <laughs> it was just dry and it was very hard to maintain um I, at that point i was still transitioning into getting used to taking care of my hair and knowing what my hair needs and making a conscious effort to ensure that i have healthy hair so the jumping into dye was not a, <laughs> I, was, I think perhaps if we dyed our hair now now yeah. we have really enjoyed it enjoyed more. it because it was the same thing for me i hadn't gone natural yet i was transitioning and my my hair wasn't like you know you're going from relaxer that doesn't even really need moisture just, or fairness yeah. whatever then your hair is dry so dry it's breaking it's cutting so it wasn't entirely the fault of the color the dye yeah so with dyed chemically treated hair protein is your friend yeah like you need to do more protein treatments than you would usually do exactly for strengthening because you need your hair to be to strong be huge moisturize you your hair very in. often you need to tuck away those ends yeah it's very ends. the ends need to be covered yeah hidden <laughs> yeah so yeah n- now looking back then we could have waited or waited or just but it was a nice experience. Yeah. I wouldn't tell you not to dye your hair, but I only tell I tell you to dye your hair when you know what it's what yeah. it, when you when you know how to manage your hair and you're ready. You already have a solid regimen, regimen. as it is, and yeah. your hair is healthy. Make sure your hair is healthy before you dye it. Yeah, because it won't don't dye damaged hair. So, um, as you can see, relax hair, natural hair. The main the maintenance is not too different. Yeah. So I mean, maybe you can. Sh- sh- share what it is that you think is different between your routine and mine mm-hmm. the first thing which i've i've noticed with most naturalists is not only her is that my i manipulate my hair a bit more than she does for example the twist the mini twists flat twists all of these protective styles that you do in between your wash days i my hair is open like this or tied and in a bun that's that's me not manipulating my hair so I'm, i definitely manipulate my hair and handle it a lot more than most naturalists do um also i don't protective style as often as a personal with, choice with extensions with extensions like with braids that's not something i do often maybe once or twice a year and then okay the lco method you said that you use lighter products yeah so you're not moisturizing as often yeah because it's easy for chemically treated hair to be weighed down and then we also talked about you guys needing to do protein treatments a bit more often. Yes. Um. Yeah. I think that those are the main differences. Those are the main differences. I think. So, yeah. I think that helps. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it helps both people with because dye is a chemical, yeah. technically speaking. So just if you have chemical chemically treated hair in any way. I hope that that helped that you. Helped, yeah. Unless, if you have any general tips on taking care of texturized hair or you know just processed. Hair. Okay, for processed hair, I think the first thing I'd say is that your hair care doesn't end after you leave the salon. I think that's one thing that <laughs> that <laughs> many people who have chemically treated hair, they just especially wait. like if you if it's been relaxed all your life, you just wait to for go to the, the salon there, for the next weeks. salon. <laughs> also, satin bonnets have been my saving grace. I love. I sleep in a satin bonnet. It keeps my moisture in, makes it easier for me not to have to moisturize that often. Takes care of my ends. So, satin bonnet. If you don't stay on, stay on the whole night. Get a silk. Get silk sheets or get a satin silk pillowcase. Yeah. yeah, just find a way to make Everyone it work. Everyone in this house has a has satin, satin bonnet. bonnet. Yeah. 
So okay. get yourself a satin bonnet. Um, what else would I say? Like listen to your hair. Make sure you you know your hair. Be conscious about other people doing your hair because we we don't we don't. A, a difference I forgot to say is that we don't take care of our hair ourselves most of the time. Yeah. It's mostly someone else. So if someone you're gonna give someone else that duty, be keen and make sure yeah. that you you know what he's washing your hair with, the how he's washing your hair. You know, if you don't have a loyal hairdresser. If you can carry your own, buy and yeah. carry your own products, and you find more, that it's, it's cheaper, actually cheaper, significant, especially even with the relaxer. So we do, we really do hope that this helped you a bit. Yeah. Um, a few of you have been commenting a lot about me needing to be natural. Here's my advice: you guys decide to come back. People have been, oh yeah, people like, yeah, when is your sister going we to go into natural? You. Oh, you're still, you're, you're still, you're not. still, you, you still have relaxer. Yeah. Um, guys. <laughs> To each their own. Like I told you, I respect people who choose this route as long as they are doing their best to keep their hair healthy. as healthy as it can be. You know, so if you're going to make the decision to treat chemically to process your hair, then make sure that you have a good regimen nonetheless. Yeah. yeah. But she is going to become natural. Eventually. <laughs> Very soon. Yeah, right? <laughs> okay <laughs> thank you so much for watching always remember your hair is your crown and your, your body is a temple. temple embrace it love it and take care of it god have a nice you. week <laughs> god bless you all it's wednesday <laughs> enjoy the rest of your week yeah. bye bye kiss them oh. <laughs>